tag. You're it. Can I help you? What do you need? Hello? I said, you're it. Trying to get things done over here. Can I help you? Okay, forget it. You're it. Did you see that? Apparently, I slap when I play tag, not just like tap somebody. Who knew I was so violent? Hey guys, my name is Wendy Valencia, and if you are new to my channel, I suggest you go ahead and click that subscribe button and then go ahead and click that bell notification icon so you will see all of my videos. We are an awesome community here and you need to be a part of it. You need us in your life. So today I'm doing a tag, broken over it, tagged me in the five questions tag. And so I'm doing it. I'm totally winging this tag. So hopefully I won't make an idiot of myself. Although it's probably no way even close to the live stream tag I did. I was so worried I was gonna say something embarrassing on that. Let's go ahead and get started. Question number one. What three YouTubers inspire you the most? So a lot of people won't answer this question, but I am totally okay with telling you that a gajillion YouTubers inspire me, but if I had to pick some, okay, number one, you know her, you love her. It's Budget Girl, because if it weren't for Budget Girl, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. I love, love, love her videos, and I watch every single one. And the fact that she's debt-free now just makes me feel like maybe I can do it too. So, number two, I'm going to give credit where credit is due, and that would be Dollar Dude. Surprisingly, he is, if you don't know Dollar Dude, you have got to get over to his channel. He's fairly new, but he is like making me up my game in a big way. He's going to like zoom past me in subscribers after like two months on YouTube. It's just crazy. He's going so fast. Number three, I'm going to say... Oh, it'd be a toss up between Casey Neistat and Kimmy from She's In Her Apron. Both of them motivate me in totally different ways. I mean, Casey, his film quality is amazing and his style is amazing. And it just really, if you watch just his editing and his flow and his storytelling, it's, it's a really phenomenal. And Kimmy would be um, from She's In Her Apron because she's an amazing mother and she's like the mother that I would aspire to be. So yeah, she's just, she's an amazing homemaker and a mother. And while, you know, she works from home with YouTube and all of that, and I work out of the home, you know, I don't necessarily have the ability to be as awesome as she is, but that I would totally love to be like that. But I wouldn't quit my job for it because I would not make a good stay at home, work from home mom. I wouldn't. Mm -mm, no way. Links for all their channels will be down below if you want to check any of them out. Number two, what are three things you are good at? Eating, stressing, breathing. No, I don't think you wanted those as answers, but yeah, I'm really good at all three of those. Okay, for me, three things I'm really good at. I'm a really good swimmer. I, um, you know, swam forever and I competed nationally in synchronized swimming. Don't make fun of me. Okay, go ahead and make fun of me. Everybody does. It's okay. Um, what else am I good at? I am really good at like commitment. If you, if I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. Assuming I wrote it down. If I didn't write it down, then I might forget but I pretty much write everything I say I'm going to do down, even if it's on my hand, because I don't want to forget anything. So I just write it down and I make notes and I have an agenda with a to-do list every day. And so if I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. I'm very dependable like that. So does that mean commitment or dependability? I don't know. One of those two things I'm really good at. The third one, diagnosing medical conditions from WebMD. I got a mad skill. I could, I could charge money for it. I should have been a doctor. Would I have these debt problems if I were a doctor? Probably. My, my school bills would be higher. But I wouldn't have met Mauricio, so yeah. Number three, what are three things you're excited about? Being debt-free, being debt-free, and being debt-free. No, <laughs> being debt-free, obviously, number one. 
Um, number two would be moving out of my parents' house and moving into our own place. Not because we don't like it here, but we're starting to feel bad that we've been here for so long and that we're putting a cramp in my parents' style. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to when I no longer feel bad about eating my parents' food and taking up all of their space. And probably number three would be traveling. I am so looking forward to a time when we can just plan a trip and save up for it and go. Number four, what three things do you do to relax? I never relax, seriously. I don't. In fact, Mauricio is constantly saying, do you want to quit YouTube? Because you never, you know, just get to sit and relax. But I schedule things into my time that I find relaxing. So like exercising. Exercising de-stresses me. It makes me feel better about life. So I really try and schedule that in. YouTube is actually fairly relaxing for me. Some aspects more than others. Like for me, making thumbnails is super relaxing. Editing a not complicated video is relaxing. The more complicated it gets, the little more intense I get. So those are fun. Filming video is very relaxing because it's like a video journal. And then probably the only technically like useless thing I do to relax is like those stupid little games on my phone, like, you know, Angry Birds or Candy Crush, or I have one that I'm currently obsessed with. It's kind of like Tetris, but, but the, the pieces don't fall. You just drag them into place. You know, I'll play it for 15 minutes before I go to bed. That is kind of like my decompressed time and I don't know why I find it relaxing I don't know I'm weird I know number five tag five youtubers okay this is a pretty easy video so I am just gonna pick five youtubers that participate a lot on my channel so let's go with Lindsay ever after budget girl Becky 6066 brown eyed babies and a merry journey so i'd love to see you guys do it you guys always participate in my channel and and i would love to hear what you have to say about that i really especially like what you do for relaxation i need more help with relaxing i'm too tense why does my nose always itch when i'm filming i don't understand it but if you notice in my videos, like when I start filming, my nose is like nicely made up, but by the end, like all the makeup is worn off because for whatever reason, as soon as I start filming, my nose gets itchy. Lord have mercy, my nose. So make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest video and this video is one that YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya!